Check out how much green algae grew. Here's another angle with the lighting. What's going on everybody? It's Paul, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Let's jump into this video. As everyone can see, we are here in front of a massive aquarium. This is a 220 gallon tank with a custom 3D background. Now, if you check out these analytics right here, you can see that the majority of the viewers are not subscribed. So if you like the content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It is free for you to join the channel and check out the content. Now, it's time for a change. Here's why, I've had this for a while and I'm ready to move on to something different. So let's do some work. Oh ho! All right, so let's do a history on the 3D background here on the 220 gallon aquarium. The 3D background was from Aqua Decor. And as you can see, I started this aquarium off with some African cichlids. We got a mixture of Hapochromis and Alonocara, so your Hap cichlids and your Peacock cichlids. Lots of amazing colors on these fish and the background makes it look so natural, so amazing. Here's another angle with the lighting. Just looks phenomenal. Was very, very happy with it. And not much else to say about it besides it makes the fish look good and the fish make it look good, right? It's a mixture of everything. So after some time had passed, you can see that this aquarium is full of haplochromis only. So I switched to a mixed hap tank. And as you can see on the background, there is a section missing. It turned out that that missing section was actually a good thing. I had a ton of comments from viewers that said it looked so awesome with that piece missing and i couldn't agree with them more it looks really phenomenal now you can see on this shot here that these are all predatory haps all of the haps that are inside lake malawi are predatory but these are the ones that are known to really have like techniques when they're going after fish and stuff but yeah the background with that missing spot looked great then after I moved on from the African cichlids, I had my two Zabrina pike, this pair in the tank that I got from Predatory Fins. You can see that these things are super phenomenal. And uh, the background's got lots of like tannins and algae buildup on it, um, you know, making it look a little bit more natural, which was pretty sweet. But it's time to move on. All right, so we are removing the background because like I mentioned, it just comes apart so easy because it doesn't stick well to acrylic. So uh, we'll start here. Oh man, oh man.
Here we are so far. So we got a couple of pieces off. I went and got the sand all stirred up to get anything that was in it into the water column so that it could go into the filters right now. But so far, that is where we're at. All right, so here is the finished product of what I did. And I definitely am gonna need your guys' opinion on what I should do. So as you can see, we got all of the background removed on this edge, down here, and all on this edge. These rocks I'm definitely going to keep in the aquarium, but the th question is, is this piece. I could take it out, but I kind of thought that maybe it would tie it together. I'm not 100% sure, so what do you guys think in the comment section? Comment, should we keep this piece on the background or remove it? Please comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Looking at it from this angle, so the background came out to about, you know, here, give or take. So if you look at that, you know, I definitely lost quite a bit of space with the background. Am I disappointed in that? Absolutely not. It was an awesome thing to be a part of and have that background. But again, like I said, it's time for something a little bit different. What you can see here that the heaters and the inputs and outputs are showing. This is a humongous eyesore that I am not okay with. Also, you got the probe for the Inkbird temperature controller. Check out how much green algae grew on the rock. Like if you look right here and see that gray, that was the color of it. But over time, it got that nice green color to it, which looks super natural, of course. And the same thing with this side, this rock, and this one. You can see that this side's a little bit less, right? But this side is a little bit more. There you go. Color it wasn't manufacture, color over the years. Now you can see this bare spot here, that is from this output right here, which obviously I am going to fix. But as you guys can see, it is coming together on the change. So again, what I need to know, keep this or remove this? Let me know in the comment section. Here's that top piece up close. Again, look at all of the green algae that grew on it over the years, but that is where that stands and again the bottom i mean it doesn't look bad i don't i don't think but i definitely need to know what you guys are thinking there they are on top of the aquarium for now uh, until i put them in storage it really does stink that some of the pieces cracked i probably should have just drained the tank but i thought with the water pressure it would be good now Let's look under here. This is an absolute mess, but we're gonna try to get through it. Now that the background is out, what I'm gonna do is just run the two Fluval FX6s on this tank. This one is gonna be for that side, and this one is gonna be for this side. And then I'm gonna take the Sun Sun and put it outside in the fish room. And I'm also going to get rid of these. It just didn't work out like I wanted it to, but nonetheless, we're gonna get this bottom section all cleaned up. So what I did was, is I made a bit of a waterfall here, got a piece of lumber there so it would kind of fly off and smooth, built up the banks so it hopefully holds that piece of lumber in place. Water from the creek comes down here, will fill up into this flow down here, and then make its way into that canyon down there. But, uh, we're supposed to get a lot of rain, so let's see if this looks like a waterfall. It'd be kind of cool to see it. Hey, ready to go? Ready to go? Huh? Zoe, are you ready to go? Hey, what do you want to do? Huh? What do you want to do? Go dig for more moles? Huh? In the comment section down below, type in aquarium overhaul and I will heart your comment.
We are not done overhauling the 220 gallon aquarium. That is gonna come on a future video. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So when the next video comes out on the completion of this tank, you're gonna be notified to see what we are doing. So that is where we are so far. So again, please, in the comment section, let me know what you guys think. Keep this or remove it. I want to know what to do by your guys' opinions. So definitely put that in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Please like the video and we'll see you guys on the next one. Stay tanked.